اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباع و ارین الباطل باطلا ورزقن اجتنابا رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی یا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتک یا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على طاعتک ربنا اننا سمعنا منادیا ینادی للایمان ان آمنوا بربکم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وکفر عنا سیئیاتنا وتوفنا مع اللبرار ربنا انك جامع الناس اليوم اللہ ریب فیه سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار We have been talking about uh, the concept of Trinity uh, that the Christians have developed for themselves. And they have started to associate prophet and servant and creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus alayhi salam, the son of Virgin Mary. Basically, the humans have gone too far in finding logics and reasons behind things. And since humans are created with shortcomings, they have the ability to only sense and understand things through the five senses they have been given. So they want to bring everything they feel or see or experience within those five senses. Beyond that, it is difficult for the man to comprehend, to understand, to make sense out of something that doesn't fall within these five senses. Especially West has gone too far in the scientific logic and scientific reasoning that they, they want reasons and scientific logic behind everything they see. You, every one of you has a smartphone in their pockets or in their, your hands. You know your smartphone has a proximity sensor, an accelerometer, the touch screen, the Bluetooth, and a few other sensors, the compass, the GPS, and so on. But uh, a few days ago, I tried to find uh, the direction of Qibla, where was the north. So the, the smartphones usually come with a compass as well, which is able to identify its direction comparative to as compared to the direction of earth so the smartphones are usually most of the smartphones are able to tell which direction the north is so when they are able to tell which direction the north is the programs can simply measure based on the location of the smartphone that where is the approximate, in some cases, precise direction of Qibla, precise direction of Haram, precise direction of Mecca, Mecca al Mukarramah, where the Muslims, uh, Muslims face themselves to offer their prayers, to offer their Salah. So when I tried to do that with this smartphone, I received a message that this smartphone does not have the required sensors and later on I found out that since it's a cheaper phone it does not have a compass in it it has other sensor proximity sensor 
uh, uh, other GPS and other things, but it does not happen to have a compass in it. Since it does not have a compass in it, it cannot tell which direction the north is. And when it cannot tell which direction the north is, it cannot tell which direction other directions are. It cannot tell where the east is, where the west is, and so on. There are uh, a few other ways of finding out through GPS and other things, but it cannot detect the direction of the phone uh, uh, normally. Since it does not have a compass in it, every application, every program or intelligence, the artificial intelligence, the smartphone holds, does it say that there is no north? There are no directions. There is no Qibla. There is no Mecca. Does it happen like so? No. Because the smartphone, the, the software added in it, the, the, the operating system in it, it knows, it knows that it is limited. It does not go beyond its limitations in terms of being a narcissist. It does not think that I am always right and I know everything and I have access to everything and I'm able to understand everything. It does not happen so. Because a smartphone is not a narcissist. The smartphone does not think it is always right. But the humans, on the other hand, are narcissists, many of them, most of them. They have only five senses to sense things, but they want, and they, they must know they have their limitations. There are things that do not fall within these five senses. And their central process, processor, their brain and intelligence they have, it must not step up of, of its limits. It does not think of itself as always being right and always being able to know and understand everything. Humans must understand their limitations based on the senses they are given. And they must understand that there are things, there are creatures of the God which have other sensors, which are beyond these senses. There are angels, there are jinns, and there are other creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which have sensors beyond that. Those creatures see and sense and understand things which humans do not. My point in saying that is that we have gone, not everyone, many of the human beings, most of the human beings have gone too far in bringing everything into their circle, in their goggles, in their limited bubble of logic. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran a very wonderful thing. That is third surah of Quran, surah Al Imran and ayah number 59 Allah says inna mathala isa indallahi kamathali adam khalaqahu min turabin thumma qala lahu kun fayakun Allah says that the example of Isa Jesus the example of Jesus is just like just like the example of Adam, Adam alayhi salam, khalaqahu min turabin, Allah created Adam from, from, from mud, thumma qala lahu kun fayakun, then Allah ordered him to, be, to come to life, to happen into a life, into a human being, fayakun, and it did happen like so. The Christians have gone too far in trying to make sense out of the story of 
Jesus, Jesus being born from a virgin Mary, alayhi salatu was salam. So, na'uzu billah, na'uzu billah, na'uzu billah, they have slandered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. They have slandered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. And they, 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 na'uzu billah, na'uzu billah, summa na'uzu billah, it is a huge slander that, that, that it is something we must be shaking at. It is something, even when mentioning, it is something to be frightened of. That there is a whole lot of people, lot of human beings who slander Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. So Allah says that we have, in, in the last lecture we have discussed it in detail, that it was Allah's order that an angel came, a spirit came to Virgin Mary and blew into her and that was an order, that was a spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's how Isa salam was born and Isa salam has no father. Jesus has no father, he was born to Virgin Mary and no man, no, no man, no person of other gender ever touched her in that way. So there is no need to bring logic into it. This is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made to happen without the physical means. It is a miracle. It is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make, can make to happen, did make to happen without the physical means. It is a miracle. There is no need to bring logic to it. it we have to accept it the way it is. And that is to understand it. The logic behind it is that Allah says, Inna mathala Isa indallahi kamathali Adam. Allah created Isa, Jesus alayhi salam, just like Allah created Adam alayhi salam. Khalaqahu min turab. Allah created Adam alayhi salam from mud. Thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. Then order him to come to life and it did happen. Just like the same thing happened to Isa alayhi salam. And and about Isa alayhi salam, life of Isa alayhi salam is full of miracles. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given him so many miracles. And because of those miracles, humans do not understand the miraculous happenings that can happen because of just the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, just like the birth of Isa alayhi salam was a miracle without the physical means, Similarly, the death of Isa alayhi salam, which the Christians think was a death, was not a death. Jesus, the, go, the, the, the Jesus going back from life, that, that, that I would say. Jesus alayhi salam coming to this life, coming to this earth and going back from this earth was all miracles. And how Isa alayhi salam, Jesus alayhi salam went back from this earth is also a miracle. He came to life is a miracle. He came back from life is, was a miracle. And his going back from life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also explains that miracle. And that is, that is the fourth surah of Quran, fourth chapter of Quran and 157 uh, and, and ayah number 157 and and the Jews think the Israelites think that they killed Jesus alayhi salam but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ 
that they did not murder Isa alayhi salam. Wama qataluhu, they did not murder Isa alayhi salam. Wama salabuhu, they did not crucify Isa alayhi salam. They did not crucify Jesus. Wala kin shubbiha lahum. They rather were, they were rather, uh, they, they, they rather got into a situation where they did this, this thing to a person who was very shubbiha lahum, who was very similar to Isa alayhi salam. Wa inna ladina wa inna ladina khtalafu fihi lafi shakkim mu. شَكٍّ مِنْهُ مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِلَّا اتِّبَاعَ الظَّنِّ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينًا Allah says maybe it is uh, one of the very rare or maybe only place where Allah says وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينًا Allah says there is no doubt they did not kill Isa a.s. Rather, Isa a.s. just like he came to earth, he was born with a miracle, he came back from earth in a miraculous way they did not kill they did not murder they did not crucify isa alayhi salam they rather killed someone else of shubbiha lahum who was just like isa alayhi salam and isa alayhi salam was miraculously raised to sky allah's angel took him angels took him back to the sky and he is still a miracle and Isa salam would come back to earth before the end of the world and then would be the time when it was it would be clarified that Isa salam would himself give witness that Isa salam would himself give witness that he is not the son of God he is he is a servant of God he was a servant of God he will when he come ba comes back to earth he will be a servant of God he is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is what he is and this is what the Christians must understand and they would be they must be very clear in that that whoever associates partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way Calling Isa alayhi salam, the son of God is associating a partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thinking of Virgin Mary as, uh, as, 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 as related to God, na'udhu billah, is a huge slander. Kaburat kalimatan takhruju min afwahihim in yaquluna illa kadiba. Allah says, it is something very, very huge and slanderous. They, they, they say about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Isa alayhi salam, Jesus alayhi salam, and in yaquluna illa kadiba, all they say is a lie, it, it, is, it has nothing to do with the truth. This would be clarified by Isa alayhi salam when he comes back to this earth himself, but that would be too late for the most of the people because they won't be living on his earth anymore, and whoever dies on shirk whoever dies in polytheism whoever dies in associating partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not be forgiven wallahu la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika man yasha allah would never ever 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 forgive any polytheism anyone who has ever knowingly or unknowingly associated a partner with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rest allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may forgive if he wills. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد.